we heard about the speech stretch, which is the longest speech in the Philippines. Guys, I found another one of those top five favorite spots in the Philippines. This is awesome. You can only see palm trees, boats, locals, no restaurants, no hotels, no Jollibee. <laughs> I'm telling you, my parents would really love this. Mom and Dad, you should come and check this out. Yes, okay. This is Palawan. There's so many freaking beaches here. <laughs> this is the Philippines. What are you talking about? There's beaches everywhere. But you're nice to keep around. I feel like when we're together. Oh, we dominate this. We always seem to find ourselves driving down some kind of impassable road that we couldn't possibly be supposed to drive down. But uh, it always tends to take us to some new and exciting places. And with that, I'd like to say good morning and welcome to a new vlog in Palawan. Uh, we jumped into the car and drove here from uh, El Nido. We are on our way to San Vicente Beach in our Hertz rental car, which is a worthy adversary for these roads. Hopefully we'll get back up the hill that we just came down. San Vicente is supposed to be a very beautiful place, uh, so we couldn't miss it on our way back to Puerto Princesa. We're back on normal roads. We just drove down the sketchy like, sketch face hill which was literally no road and now we're on a on like a fully paved road again that is not accessible by any uh, why i don't quite understand how come is this road so good and then there was just a stretch of like no road <laughs> very interesting indeed to another destination on our Palawan trip, San Vicente. So I'm not quite sure if I pronounce it properly, but uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'm struggling, to be honest. So maybe send me a voice message on Instagram. Link is in the description down below. Mike and I started our road trip in Puerto Princesa and we heard about this beach, uh, beach stretch, which is the longest beach in the Philippines. I think it's around 16 kilometers. So we're going to explore this area a little bit have some uh, dinner and then let's see first impression of this beach it's absolutely mind-bogglingly beautiful the waves are so nice it's like these tiny little but perfectly symmetrical waves that keep breaking and oh but sneaky sneaks on. Yeah. So nice. And you know what? This is not even the beach that we are supposed to be at. Oh, really? Yeah, the, the long beach is over there. So we oh. have to drive. Should we head over there? Yeah. Nice. We just drove a little further and uh, we went through local villages. It's very nice here. Um, the waves are huge. And this beach stretch is incredible. You can only see palm trees, boats, locals, no restaurants, no hotels, no Jollibee. <laughs> wow. Guys, I found another one of those top five favorite spots in the Philippines. This is awesome. Does this remind you of South Africa? Oh, it just reminds me so much of South Africa. Long, oh. beautiful, endless beach as well. Look, there's even a little table mountain. There's even a tiny little table <laughs> mountain back there. So nice. Wow. 
I'm telling you, my parents would really love this. Mom and Dad, you should come and check this out. It's so beautiful. I agree. And look, look. We are the only people. It's, it's like 10 kilometers this way. It's not a single person. Down this way, there's like four locals. So you literally could come here with like snacks and supplies, hang out by the beach, spend the whole day here. Oh, so nice. Yeah, I agree. Maybe we should do that tomorrow. Well, drive all the way up here again. Oh, we know another beach. We know oh, another beach. Oh, yes. Okay, this let's we're in Palawa. That. There's so many freaking beaches here. <laughs> this is the Philippines. What are you talking about? There's beaches everywhere. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get a demonetization from YouTube because I keep saying beaches. Yeah, don't say beaches. Be peaches. Pe peaches. cute restaurant which is overlooking the ocean and I realized we're not having dinner we're having lunch because we haven't eaten today so we are very hungry almost hangry but we're in a too good mood to be hangry ah I don't know but yeah let's have food So the restaurant that we want to go to is right behind us, but it only opens up in 15 minutes. So we just chilled here on a bench, glaring out at the ocean. It's so nice today. We've been so lucky with the weather on this trip, yeah. honestly. So happy, especially because our first trip to Palawan was pretty rainy. Maybe yeah. because we went, went for a rainy season. Maybe. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> but I think we're both super happy about this trip and yeah, I can highly recommend coming yeah. here. We will say I'm missing Manila a little bit. I don't feel like I've sat in traffic for like weeks. <laughs> Nobody ever said I'm missing traffic. <laughs> We had a great dinner here at this restaurant. Really, really nice. Um, if Nelly thinks of it, she'll put the Google Maps link in the description down below. Had a great dinner, so, so nice. But now, it took much longer than expected. We wanted to leave here at 6.30, uh, but being that it is an Italian restaurant, usually the whole procedure takes a little bit longer. Hello. So uh, it's now actually, ooh, it's past seven. It's uh, like 7.30 already. And we're just about getting ready to hit the road. Nelly just went to the restroom. I'm gonna get the car started up, get settled in. I'm not gonna vlog on the ride there because it's a, it's a very curvy, uh, very strenuous ride from here to Puerto Princesa. So I'm just gonna stay focused on the road and we will check in with you guys once we're there. But what I wanted to say before is today I saw again how amazing it is to have your own car here in Palawan, it just opens up so many more options, so many more opportunities to discover and do things. And I just love road tripping, man. I just love road tripping, what can I say? All right, I'll check in with you guys from our hotel once we arrive. Uh, good morning, guys. We arrived here at the Panja Resort in Puerto Princesa fairly late yesterday. 
and quite frankly we're too tired to end the vlog we just checked in and dove into our comfortable beds and slept through till right now um, yesterday it once again showed us how awesome it is to have a car when you're out here in Puerto Princesa because you can out in Palawan because you can explore so many new things we had such a great opportunity to explore two really awesome new spots yesterday and I'm so stoked about it um, I hope you did enjoy these uh, past few vlogs in Palawan with the island hopping expedition um, if you did please let us know in the comments down below give the video a big fat thumbs up and um, yeah leave us a nice comment <laughs> um, if you're new around here please hit that subscribe button turn on the notifications uh, it helps out the channel a lot and uh, with that being said I'll end the vlog right here right now uh, we have another amazing day in front of us in Puerto Princesa before we fly back to Manila this evening I will see you guys tomorrow same time same place remember to stay awesome be positive and make it happen True. bye bye so my secret is out I've said it to the crowd that I don't need you but that's just not true